Uh, we're here at Striving Arboretum today with Frank Chu, and Frank has just attended the demonstration against the fees at Striving at San Francisco Botanical Garden at Striving Arboretum. And uh, Frank has been a strong opponent of the fees, and I was wondering if you could tell me, Frank, about your current opinion about uh, how do you feel that, you know, you live in Oakland, how do you feel about paying $7 to get in here? Well, I guess um, I was already filmed by CBS News before, so I think Bill Clinton and the 12 galaxies of populations, they're involved with some discrimination, corruption, and trying to overcharge for the fees. And uh, I think usually the parks and recreations, they are usually are free of charge, and uh, they don't usually charge anybody to go inside, whether you're from a different city or coming across nationwide on a vacation as a tourist. Even with international tourists, I think um, they don't usually charge people for parks like these. And um, I think uh, the 12 Galaxies is uh, you know, depriving some of the people that come to the park and uh, they should not be charging those fees. So do you feel there's a relationship between uh, Mayor Edwin Lee and 12 Galaxies? Well, Mayor Ed, Edwin Lee, he is one of the innocent party ones, but um, most of the people in Washington, D.C., they are the guilty parties and they could spy on the uh, local uh, government yeah. issues and cause discrimination. Perhaps. But you are aware that Edwin Lee is the one who's supporting these fees. He sent the legislation to the, to the board to make the fees permanent. So what do you think about that? Do you think maybe the 12 Galaxies might have infiltrated well, him? Probably the, the, the 12 Galaxies probably infiltrate him in his office. Probably uh, convince him to uh, maybe even uh, try to you know leave him no choice but to uh, use those fees over here. I see. So do you have any other comments? Uh, well, hopefully I could go to the United Nations in 2012 and get all this stuff proven and try to get paid as the movie star too. So do you think if you get paid as a movie star, do you think that will have, that will be able to uh, do anything in terms of uh, getting the Arboretum fees removed if passed? Yes. Probably if I get the impeachments in the United Nations, they could probably change the parks and recreations with their authority with the uh, United Nations and have international uh, types of uh, parks and recreations and probably an international rangers and you know police headquarters. Mm -hmm. And are you aware that Supervisors Carmen Chu and David Chu appear to be uh, headed to vote for these fees? How do you feel about that? Do you think that they, they have something in with, involved with 12 Galaxies somehow? Probably they were also um, maybe convinced or maybe uh, left with no choice with the 12 Galaxies and uh, choosing the fees. How do you think uh, the 12 Galaxies might have contacted David Chu? What method do they use? Well, maybe they have a method, um, maybe try to terminate them, or, uh, mm -hmm. you know, have them leave office or something. And what would be the motive of the 12 Galaxies to want to keep a $7 fee at the Arboretum? Well, I think um, they're cheating some of the regular people that were trying to help me get paid as a movie star. Some of the domestic residents in San Francisco, they try to deprive their money and uh, try to force them to become homeless and try to make them run out of money. That's why they charge a fee and, uh, you know, just those regular uh, people that uh, they were after, they were the ones that try to help me get paid as a movie star. I see. Okay. So thank you very much. All right.